I am definitely so excited for this. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. And folks, great news. I finally have it. iPhone 13 mini is in my hands. I just picked this up and I'm so excited because I have the pink iPhone 13 mini. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing this thing. We're gonna be looking at what new features it has, admire its being pink, and take some sample shots. Let's do it. Obviously, I got the pink one, iPhone on the sides. That is a very thin box. iPhone 13 mini in pink. Wow! That's so pretty. We have the lightning cord, thin tool, sticker, paperwork, and that is it. Right. Onto the phone. That is the new camera array, and as you can see in this light, the details are sort of pink. It's a very subtle pink, and I feel like in a lot of the videos, because of the studio light, it sort of looks like it's white. But in this lighting and against this white table, you can see that it definitely is not white. Apple logo on the back, obviously. This phone fits my hands perfectly. I am in love. The sides are sort of rose gold. I like that. This thing is so pretty. So this cover right here tells us that this is a power button on the right side. On the left, the silent switch and volume buttons. The top is clean. At the bottom, you have speakers and the lightning port. I am so happy for this pink iPhone. You know what's coming. Let's power it up and set it up. And in the meantime, a montage. What's new with the new iPhone? First off, you guys know that I'm thrilled that there is a pink iPhone this year. Obviously, there was a previous rose gold iPhone, but that was just like rose gold. This is a full-on pink iPhone. The edges are pink, the back is pink. I mean, sort of. Looking at the iPhone from this angle, it does look a little white. Personally, I would have loved it to be a little bit more pink. Nevertheless, I still feel like it's a pretty phone. At certain lighting angles, it is more pink than it looks now. I mean, I get it. It's a non-committal pink phone. Even even if you're not pink crazy like I am, this is a phone you can totally rock. As tiny as the iPhone 13 mini is, this is still powered by Apple's A15 chip. AKA, even with a small size, it runs on Apple's latest and most powerful chip. The same chip that runs the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. By the way, this is Joshua's iPhone 13 Pro, so check out his unboxing on his channel. Another improvement on the iPhone 13 mini coming from the iPhone 12 mini is the fact that the base model for this phone is 128 gig. You can also upgrade to 256 or 512, although it's only the Pro versions that do the one terabyte storage. I gotta say, you guys, that is a welcome change coming from someone who foolishly ordered the base 64 gig iPhone 12 mini. I shoot TikToks on the 12 mini and yet I run out of space. Starting at 128 gig for the same price definitely a great idea now side by side with iphone 12 mini that's the same size again i love this teeny form factor noticeable differences of course include how that camera array is positioned you have this new diagonal design and that module is slightly bigger on the iphone 13 mini up front though you have a noticeably smaller notch on a 60 hertz screen apple also brought one big improvement that i've been looking to get on the iphone minis this iphone 13 mini supposedly has better batteries with apple claiming as much as 1.5 hours more battery time. Of course, I just unboxed this phone so I can't really confirm that right now but stay tuned for more videos because I will be talking about that later. And aside from battery time, this thing has better cameras. We have similar cameras on the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13. We're shooting with the main cameras right now which has the new Apple sensor shift stabilization which is a big deal because we only saw it on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This time around, all iPhone 13 phones have it and well, it should make it look better when you're walking and talking and shooting like this. We're shooting on the wide this time and this is also an improved camera because it has now better sensors. 
But Apple didn't just stop at better cameras. This thing has new camera features, which include the cinematic mode. Basically, the cinematic mode, which is what we're using right now, allows you to create a bokeh and transfer focus while you're shooting. It makes for some, well, cinematic shots. photographic styles basically they're like filters but not photographic styles allow you to pick and adjust preset profile so that you get a certain look when you take photos on the iphone there are five different profiles and here are photo examples of how it treats the same photos right let's do a quick camera tour camera tour time so did you see that was face unlock right there Let's go to the camera. So you have your normal 1x, there is a wide, and this can zoom up until 5x. Hey, <laughs> up here, flash settings, you have, again, the flash settings, live photo settings, you have that popped up, that is the night mode settings. You have the different photographic styles here, size, exposure, timer, and then filters. On the right, you have your portrait mode. You have the same settings down there. You have your blur or aperture settings, depth settings. And then you have a pano mode and you can do wide for the pano mode as well. On the other side, you have your video. You can do wide 1x up until 3x and then you can shoot up until 4k 60 fps you then have your cinematic mode you can adjust your bokeh here and what's great about the cinematic mode is that you can adjust the blur even after shooting if you want to see me try that out more let me know let's do a camera vlog test comment down below and you have a slow-mo mode here you can do wide 1x you can do 240 fps and then finally you have your time lapse mode you can also do wide can you do selfie time lapses yes you can do selfie slow mos as well there is your cinematic mode on selfie again you can change around the aperture settings one thing about the cinematic mode you can only shoot in 1080p you also have selfie video and you can shoot 4k selfie videos in 60 fps nice selfie photos you can do wide a little bit as well and the last option here is portrait mode All right that was a really really quick camera tour here are some more sample shots And that was our look at the new iPhone 13 mini. Of course, I'm gonna need to have to spend more time with this to fully make up my mind about this phone. I'm pretty curious about how this phone performs. You guys know that I am super into the whole mini line just because it fits my hands better. On paper alone, the upgrades that Apple brought us to this teeny tiny phone are the upgrades that I've been looking for coming from the iPhone 12 mini. But of course, we're still gonna be testing all those features out. Let me know what your questions are. If you wanna see a camera vlog test, let me know if you wanna see an iPhone 12 mini versus an iPhone 13 mini comparison. I'm thinking that's something that might be interesting to see. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.